Erica, yes. uh, how is it out there? Is there up out there? No, everybody's kind of like talking to one another. Are you making friends? Yeah. I was kind of just like in my own little world trying to like... <laughs> who's the coolest person you met out there? Um, who's the coolest person I met? There was a guy out there, I can't remember his name, but um, he has a show in Newport, he says, that he produces, and he came all the way here, he had to like cancel something to be here. He seemed like he had a lot of um, background and experience, so it was cool getting to know him. Good. And what about you? What's your, what's your background? What have you been doing before you got here? Well, I was an intern on the road show last semester, oh. so I kind of have a good idea of what to expect for the position. Um, before that, I interned with the Paw Sox, so that was a really good experience as well. Awesome. Um, right now, I'm working part-time at Baxter's Jewelry Store in Warwick, okay. so selling jewelry. <laughs> Why do you want to be a, a host of the road show? You know, um, I was thinking about it, and after I graduated, I graduated in May from Providence College, um, I've been looking for jobs, like, constantly, and, you know, nothing is really, like, hitting me as to what I really, like, would like to do. And I thought about it, and after I left this internship, I really missed it. Like, I loved the experience I had here. The people are great, and, you know, it was such a great opportunity to just do something different every day, and... I really, really enjoyed it, awesome. so I thought I'd come back and give it a shot. <laughs> what, would, what would you bring to the road show that you, don't, you think it might need? I think um, my personality is kind of different. I'm very, like, strong with my opinions. I don't, like, falter with anything. I think I could really keep up with Patrick and Danielle. I know they both have really strong personalities as well. Um, I might not have as much experience as other people, but I'm very, like, trainable. It's not going to take away from my confidence. I think I can do something, I'll do it, and I'll learn it and try and perfect it to my highest capability. Do you have any hobbies? I love to run. Um, I actually just ran my first half marathon in May, so it was a really big accomplishment for me. Um, other than that, I love to, like, bake and, you know, try and make things healthy. I'm big with health and fitness, so... Thanks for bringing the chocolate. You're welcome. Yeah, you can tell that. Yeah. I mean, everybody needs a little bit of chocolate in their lives. my diet. Sorry. <laughs> who, who would you want to interview most in Rhode Island? In Rhode, in Rhode Island. Island. Who are you going to go out with that microphone when they say to you, you've got it, now take the truck and go? Where are you going? Ooh, that's a good question. I'd probably go... I'd probably go to someone who, let me think. Oh, call me off guard. I'd go to someone that um, had a lot of influence over kids. Um, maybe someone at Hasbro. And um, I really am passionate about kids and, like I said, health and fitness. And I think it's a really important thing to, like, get kids into, like, you know, that kind of a routine early on. And I did have some work with Hasbro before. Um, I actually ran a fundraiser for them. So Hasbro is like a special place in my heart. So I definitely go and probably try and meet people over at Hasbro. Oh, great. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're yeah, welcome. Nice to see you, nice to see you too. Thank you for the sugar fresh. <laughs> no problem. And Beth will show you right away.